I'm Dagan Inwood. I work for Forest Research, an agency of the Forestry Commission, and uh, I'm a research entomologist. An entomologist is um, someone who studies insects. Um, I specialise on beetles. At the moment, I'm using insects to examine how climate change will affect um, life histories uh, of organisms in our, in our forests. When I was very, uh, very young, um, I, I wanted to be an explorer, I think. Um, uh, I wanted to um, sort of slash my way through the rainforests and um, I think find new animals and uh, look at fossils and the natural world always excited me. I started working in the Natural History Museum uh, as part of my first degree, in fact. I did a sandwich year. I spent a year working with professionals on a subject that, at that time, I didn't realise was quite as interesting as I now find it. Um, and when I came back to my final year, I, I had a renewed enthusiasm for why I was doing my degree. I got a sense of what was actually out there that uh, might appeal to me, that there was, there was work there that I'd be interested in. Uh, after my first degree, I uh, did an MSc in biodiversity and taxonomy, and then I did a PhD after that, which was uh, basically becoming more and more specialised uh, to the point where you wonder if uh, you're actually employable anymore because you know a great deal about a very small uh, subject. After my PhD, I fairly naturally uh, did something called a postdoc. Um, it's a postdoctoral contract, and um, I was funded for three years. But the worry at the end of that is you have to go out and find more work. You're only employed for as long as your money lasts. And um, I had, uh, had a, a new son. Um, and I wanted to sort of settle down and not worry about where my next paycheck was coming from. Um, but I was determined to stay in science. So uh, the job at the Forestry Commission came up, the forestry uh, research job. And um, I saw it in the New Scientist. I applied and fortunately found that my skills in dung beetles uh, did have some application in the UK. I've been very fortunate to have travelled to uh, a lot of different places in the world. I worked on tropical insects for some years and I travelled to South Africa, uh, Ecuador, uh, Chile, Madagascar, uh, all to chase um, these insects. One of the most inspirational um, events in my life, perhaps, is um, was my first opportunity to work in the tropics, uh, to work in a rainforest surrounded by this incredible diversity of plants and insects and animals, um, of which I understood just a tiny part. But that, that was enough to, to sort of feel at home there and to be really inspired that what I was doing was somehow linked to greater things, you know, not, not sort of working in isolation, but this is what it was all about. Having a link with the natural world for a, someone who's interested in natural history, very important. I've been very fortunate to uh, end up working as an entomologist. Uh, I feel privileged to be able to work with the, the natural world. Uh, I, I'd never have been able to sit behind a desk for very long, uh, to actually be out there uh, collecting these organisms, uh, looking at them in the wild, to have travelled uh, to these fantastic places to uh, collect and, and uh, understand them has been yeah, a dream come true.